I don't know if you can even see my head. Yes, I'm sure you can. Hey guys, this is a behind the scenes video for the private letters of Christine Dye. Man, I feel important in directory saying that. Anyway, I'm going to show you the set. If you're adverse to having the magic ruined, don't keep watching because the magic, the magic will go. does it not? Boom! Zoom all the way out. Here we have the chair, followed by the curtain, the Chinese screen that in fact hides nothing but an... it's just, it's too small to change. There's no room behind there for me to change. We have my bookshelf. Fun fact, this book here is 104 years old? Let's see. Oh, I need to be careful with my 100-year-old books. Ah, my precious. Yes, copyright 1910. This book is 105 years old now. And it's actually a mix of Phantom of the Opera, Les Mis, and Hunchback of Notre Dame. So basically, it's wonderful. We've got my closet where I need to do laundry. Got the dresser that moved in halfway through the series. It made it really hard for the actors to walk through the door. And we have my bed, which is right here. And this is the other side. This is the view from the chair. You have my big, beautiful Macintosh computer. There is where I always imagined the mirror would be, which is why, if you notice in the series, I always look off in that direction, is because if this was a real dressing room, there'd be a mirror there. And this is my beautiful, very high-tech box of Christmas lights that I use as a tripod. This is the basement where I filmed the unmasking scene. I took this big, beautiful book. If I knew how to focus my camera, I would. I set it next to this big mirror, yes, and then to get the sound of fighting, I just banged into these two shelves a whole bunch of time and pulled it around on my shirt to make cloth sounding noises and ran around in shoes to make foot tapping sounds. Here is the couch in my apartment where, right there where that New York picture was, well bigger than the New York, the New York picture, I had a green screen. So this is where the Port Jarvis episode was filmed. and. If we walk down the apartment hallways of mine that I own, my apartment hallways, we get to the dressing room, which is in fact my apartment bedroom. I love old things. I love antiques. I love going to thrift stores and buying old books. And I love just things that are old and look old and feel old and just have story and personality to them. I just felt like my room had all the old things it would need to have the charm and the antiquity needed to tell a story like Phantom of the Opera, even if it was modern day. Oh man, this is crazy. The reason I chose to hang this curtain here is because I in fact live on a busy street. Holy cow, this is more light than I've had in my apartment for moons. But her room needed to be in the basement of the opera. So, oh, this is crazy. I can't handle all this light. It's too much. It's too much work. This is a piece of cardboard that I would use to block out the sun when we had to shoot episodes in the day. Oh no. I don't know if I can get the chair out the door anymore. <laughs> I did it! Everything is paid! Thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching The Private Letters of Christine Daae. If you haven't, go back and watch it because it's awesome. It's, I am so proud of this project, flaws and all, and I appreciate all of you who have stuck around with me since the beginning, all of your feedback, all of your, the likes and comments and 
and reblogs. I just thank you so much. This has been an amazing experience for me and I hope I didn't ruin the magic too much by showing you where this was actually said. Keep the dream alive. See the dressing room how you saw the dressing room in your mind. Go ahead and check out my other behind the scenes videos or check out the series. And by or, I mean and check out the series. So, so do both. Both is fun. Both is good.